are sitting gosh. around 28,000 water bottles right now. Well, first, let me define who's we. So I work for an organization called Dopper. Dopper is a reusable water bottle company based in the Netherlands. Dopper has a foundation. So through bottle sales, 5% of the proceeds made from bottle sales go into foundation. The foundation helps raise awareness about plastic waste. This is part of Dopper's DNA, is awareness campaigns and publicity stunts. The latest one now is a bridge to a plastic-free world. So we're collecting 28,000 water bottles and we're going to build a replica of the Brooklyn Bridge. It's going to be about 15 feet high, maybe 15 feet long, about 10 feet wide. It's going to be on a truck bed and it's going to be touring New York City starting from June to September, stopping in different schools, talking with kids, talking with the public about plastic waste. The difficulty in awareness spreading in 2018, I think, comes down to just the sheer volume of content. Um, it's difficult to pierce that veil. It's, you're not always receiving the new content. There's just so much out there. It's hard for you to see something new. Um, what I think is the antidote to that, uh, if you're trying to raise awareness about a social issue, is to just start with the people that already get it. Mm. Give them something that's easy to talk about and then let it disseminate that way. Go into a culture, understand the workings of the culture, seeing the needs. Um, some might be a lot more drastic changes, some might be just edu like new signage, I don't know. But then yeah, just replicate that mm -hmm. only with the organizations that want it, for now, yeah. to start. Yeah. If it would be somebody like WeWork, that would be huge. And the cool thing I see there is also like, WeWork is the ground floor for a lot of potentially huge companies going forward, right? And so that's going to change corporate culture too because when somebody starts small and they grow big, hopefully yes. they'll take those principles with them. Exactly. If you come in and you have some sort of a, um, you know, lunch regimen and now it's broken up or just broken completely because you have to think about mm -hmm. composting and what materials your items are made out of, where to put this versus where to put that. You know, imagine you have a lunch with a salad, you leave some salad and you have chicken. You can't put the chicken with the compost, you can't take your whole plate and shove it off. Yes. And that idea of like taking half the plate, putting it here, taking the other half the plate, putting it there, and then taking a plate and putting it to a third bucket it's a barrier. is jarring for people. Yeah. And it's definitely a barrier, even though realistically you're like, dude, this is going to take you 10 extra seconds, maybe five once you get used to it. Yeah. Uh, Simon Sinek has this great um, the bell curve of the diffusion of innovation, the law of diffusion of innovation. I don't know if it's Simon Sinek, but anyway, he talks about um, starting with the innovators, starting with the people that already get it, because they're already receptive to what you want. And by virtue of disseminating the information, they'll tell their peers and their friends. It's more of a grassroots thing.